everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. So since I did my diamond painting beginners tips and tricks video, I've had an overwhelming response from an awful lot of colourists and others as well who didn't know anything about diamond painting and were really excited and intrigued to find another creative hobby that requires no skill whatsoever but produces beautiful results just like colouring. And I know now that there are a lot of colourists who hadn't heard of the hobby before and they're now on their third, fourth, fifth diamond painting. So it's absolutely wonderful and I will continue to sort of scatter diamond painting videos on my channel because I know a lot of you want to see it if it's something you don't want to see then obviously there's all the other content that I do but for those of you that are interested in the diamond painting videos then I will be doing some more of them sort of as time goes on so first of all I want to show you a quick diamond painting that I finished. I say quick, it's taken me hundreds of hours to do uh, and a, over 40,000 actual individual beads but let me just get it for you because it is massive this is the one that i finished now hopefully it will show up now obviously it's in a glass frame at the moment so you'll see my overhead light but just to show you the sparkliness of these beautiful diamonds and every single one of them has been lovingly put down individually um, and this is a 60 by 45 size so i'm just going to lay it on the desk and then i'll bring the camera back so that you can see all of it so it goes right down to the bottom with his guitar. Big Elvis fans in this house, so I can't wait to get that up on the wall. It's not been painted yet, that wall. Um, so we're waiting to paint it and then I'll be hanging it up. And this particular diamond painting was from the store Ever Moment. And I really wish that I could have done an unboxing of that, but to be honest, at the time it didn't occur to me to do one. And then I just wanted to get into it really quickly and um, ended up, you know, just not filming it. But the one that I'm going to be showing you today is a... A diamond painting that's come through today here it is it's still in the bag I've not opened it it's still got my dress on the front so I'm trying not to show that on camera um, and this is from the shop on Aliexpress called Huacan now we're going to open it up on camera and I've also got a few um, accessories to show you as well we're going to see first of all what the Huacan packaging looks like and if it's nice and durable and how the canvas looks if there's any bubbles etc and we'll also be looking at the quality of the drills and the quality of the symbols, if they're readable, etc, etc. So let's get this open. So I'm going to be really careful. We've got this um, sort of plastic mail bag. I've got my little craft knife. I'm being super careful not to puncture anything else within the package. But I wanted to see this first with you. Now the actual design that I chose is a custom design. There are plenty of diamond paintings that are pre-done already, pre, um, you know, they've, they've already on there, you know, if there's a picture of a tree or, you know, whatever. But this is a custom, so I've actually sent a photograph into Huacan and they have created this diamond painting as a custom. So I'll take that away, turn this around. So here we are, this is the box that it comes in. It's a little bit battered and bashed, just on the edges, but I suppose you'll come to sort of expect that when you're in a uh, when it's in a small cardboard box and it's traveling from far afield. So we've got diamond painting, we've got the instructions here, they're in English. Uh, check the tools, canvas and diamonds, whether they're matching. Uh, ensure the adhesive strength of canvas. Please rip the protective film one by one. Uh, use tweezers to put the diamonds on. Obviously that's optional and uh yeah then frame it so that is the box same all the way around it's quite a pretty box we'll open it up and we'll see exactly what's inside so first of all we've got the drills so these i think that yeah i think that's all the drills and they come in this big polythene wrapper so we'll open that up and then each of the colours are in individual Ziploc bags. So if you just grab this one, you see it's an individual Ziploc. It's got the DMC number 382 on there and then whatever number this is. And I'm just looking at the drills quickly just to see what they look like. And to me, they look pretty darn perfect. Obviously, I have to go through them in a, with a bit more of a fine tooth comb, but they, they look pretty good so far. So I'll put those to one side for now. And then we'll get out the 
actual diamond painting itself. So I'm just checking the box, if there's anything else in it. There's something at the other end. Here we go, that's our tools. So every single diamond painting comes with a little set of tools like this and quality varies between sellers. So let's have a look what we've got. So we have our drill tray where you empty your beads and then shake them out so that they sit nicely in between these grooves. We've got the tweezers. These look very, very similar to the ones that Evermoment sent in their package. They're really, really good quality, quite heavyweight tweezers and they have the needle nose tip. We've then got some red wax that we use inside our drill pen to pick up all of our little beads. And we have two different tops. So we've got what looks like a nine, maybe a nine beader, and then a three beader, and then you've got your individual bead pickup bit there. And then it's also got this little gripper, which is gonna make it nice and easy on your fingers when you're doing this for quite a long time. It's nice and padded and soft. Also, the drill pen itself is glittery, which is a really nice little addition. So we'll move all of those to one side. They're quite sort of normal tools, decent quality. I'm impressed by those so far. Now, the actual diamond painting itself, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about it before I open it up and have a look. Now, the custom that I ordered is one of my Nana. And if you have followed this channel for a long time, you will have heard me speak about my Nana. Unfortunately, she passed away um, four, four years ago, I think it was. Um, coming up to five, I think, now, uh, 2014. So um, it's been a long time anyway since I've seen her. And we were so close. Like, I can't even describe to you how close we were. It was like mother and daughter, but really, really close bond. So next to all my colouring stuff here, I've got a picture on a canvas of us together. This was when I was little and this is me and her. Um, and I've got a teddy bear made out of her clothing, um, which still smells like her. There it is. I've got little bits and bobs that were hers from her house and she's just a massive, massive part of my life. Um, anyway, this is the canvas that I got, is a picture of her. So needless to say, this is really, really important to me and I need this to be a decent quality, just to do her justice, basically. So if this falls anything short, then I'm definitely gonna be telling you about it. So I'm really, really hoping that we've got a decent, a decent canvas with good adhesive and really good drills as well. Because this is the thing about Huacan, I've never had a diamond painting from them before. I'm being really careful here, by the way, because I do not wanna rip the canvas. So I've never had a diamond painting from them before and that's mainly because in the past there have been a lot of, I'm not going to say awful reviews, but unfavourable reviews when it comes to the quality of the drills, so with them being all the same size, which obviously is very important, and also the quality of the canvas as well. So I am really eager to see if they have sort of booked their ideas up and sorted their materials out, which I've heard in the last you know month or so that they have. So I really can't wait to see that. Now here's the picture of Nana that I sent in. Beautiful, beautiful lady. So I'm gonna unroll it. So I should mention that this is a 40 by 50 canvas. That's in centimeters. And inside was this little pool noodle type of foam to keep it you know, nice and uh, curled and not scrunched up or anything. So all along the side here is the key or the legend. So all the little symbols and the numbers of the drills that we have to put on there. So that's really nice and clear. The symbols all look good. I can't see any that are too similar to each other at the moment because that's a massive problem sometimes that the symbols are just really close to each other, how they look and uh, you can't really tell them apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this the other way so we can attempt to get it flat so I can show you it properly. So I'm going to get the edge of the canvas at the bottom. I'm going to grab that pull noodle back and I'm going to roll it the other way. And that's a really good way of making your new diamond painting sit nice and flat. So let's give it a go. Okay, so just making sure that's nice and rolled. 
and then we'll undo it again and there we go so it's sitting really flat now we don't have to worry about it coming up on, on us so let me just move a few things out of the way let's have a look so i'm going to just look at this in the light quickly just to see um which way up it is see if i can right i think it's this way up so it says here there's 45 colors and it's 40 by 50 centimeters so hopefully we'll get a good amount of detail now the first thing that i want to mention is that it has a opaque paper rather than the clear sort of cellophane covering that you often get on um on diamond painting so it really is preference um, and it doesn't really matter to be honest what covers it but a lot of people do prefer the clear plastic and some people do prefer the opaque paper to me it doesn't really matter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel some back and we're going to see how sticky it is first of all so this is all cut into sections for us And then, yep, so it's super, super sticky. That's the first thing I'm looking for. The next thing is, are there any bubbles on the canvas and on the adhesive itself? In this section, it all looks pretty good. There's nothing there. Here, I can see we've got a bit of a crease. So I'm gonna open this up and just check that the crease is not on the adhesive. So I can see a very, very slight indentation of that crease, but I can tell that it is not going to affect the way that the diamonds sit whatsoever. So that's all good so far. I'm looking down the painting and I can't see any other creases or bubbles or anything of concern. So let's have a look at the symbols. Let's pull this down a little and then look at it close up. So you can actually see, if I'm looking at the camera, I can see that you can see the crease that's going across there, but it's really difficult for me to actually explain without you being here to feel it, but it's not actually compromising the canvas whatsoever. It's not a big bump or it's not a big indent. It's just a line, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's have a close up look at the symbols. These are really, really clear. You're not going to need a light pad or anything like that unless you prefer to use a light pad anyway. But certainly, I'm very, very happy with the clarity of these symbols. It is something that you can have been um, accused of in the past that the symbols were not clear. Um, but so far, so good with this canvas. I'm really, really pleased. Um, obviously, I don't know how it's going to turn out when it's fully done. I'll have to come back to you on that, which I will. But hopefully, it will be a beautiful representation of this wonderful lady. Now then, let's have a closer look at the drills. So I'll move the canvas out of the way. Let's just see if you can see her face on the other side. Can you? No. Anyway, I will show you when it's done and it'll be framed as well, ready to go on the wall. So let's have a look at these drills. I'm gonna pour some out. So this was another thing that's meant, been mentioned about Huacan in the past, and that is the quality of the drills. Now, a lot of people have said that they are not uh, the same size, so you get variation in sizes, the width and the, the length of the drill is different, and obviously that's no good when you're using square drills because they all have to line up perfectly. So I'm just going to look at a few of these bags now, and to be perfectly honest, all of the drills look exactly the same size, and I'm not seeing many, or I've not seen any, um, sort of rubbishy little bits of plastic you know the ends of drills or any bits that have come off the production line it all looks really good quality they all look very sparkly they're all multifaceted and yeah i don't think there's anything wrong with these drills whatsoever obviously when i come back and show you the completed diamond painting if i have encountered any problems i will of course tell you then but so far so good they're really clearly labeled they all look fantastic. There's nothing really bad that I can say. It's all brilliant so far. And it's a super huge relief for me because I was really wanting this to be, you know, um, good quality. Now, the reason that I spent slightly more on the Elvis one with a different seller called Ever Moment was because I'd heard so much good stuff about them and they didn't disappoint. Their packaging, everything was on point. Um, but Huacan are far cheaper, sometimes a third of the price 
of ever moment so i am super stoked that these are actually um as good quality i'd say as ever moment for a fraction of the price so that canvas that i just showed you 40 by 50 centimeter custom was just 10 pounds six pence you know that what's that like 15 dollars 17 dollars maybe something like that so the ever moment the elvis one even though it was bigger and everything it was almost 30 pounds i think so if you are looking for quality and obviously economical with price as well, Hewer can so far so good. So we've looked at all the drills, we've looked at the canvas, let's have a look at some of the extra tools that I ordered. So these came in a separate package to the diamond painting and as you can hopefully see, this is such sturdy packaging. Honestly, it is really, really strong and it's really thick as well so you know nothing's going to go anywhere or, or have any breakages hopefully with this packaging so i'm going to open it up and i did want to do this on camera so that you could see this is the first time i'm seeing it with you so it could have been a really terrible review if the uh, the drills hadn't been right or the canvas was bubbly or something like that but I'm really glad that it's turned out to be good so far. So these tools are obviously an optional extra that you buy separately. So there we go. I have chosen the this pen first of all, which is three pounds fifty eight. So maybe like five or six dollars. And it's got a really cute little girl on top. Can you see? um and it looks all right you know it's quite thick it's quite sturdy i haven't used a big thick drill pen like this before so i don't know what it's going to be like but the main reason i ordered this is because it is supposed to have a square end so most drill pens like this one is a standard drill pen it has a round end but obviously if you're working with square beads it makes sense that you might want to try a square ended drill pen now it also means that when you pick up your drills it might be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to get it exact so the square is going to have to be the same way around as your pen if that makes sense but it's actually a bit of a squovel so it's kind of square but it's kind of round as well so I'm really interested to see how that works and uh, yeah it's quite heavy I don't know whether it'll be you know okay to work with for extended periods of time but we will see this is going to be something I'll update you with on the next video so this baby <laughs> is the drill storage case so first of all it's really hard and tough it's got a handle on it that pulls up like this and then you can push it back down flat they're all different colors i chose the purple one and as i say it's really sturdy it feels really good quality so you've got double zips let's open it up and here we go so this is the biggest one that they do there are also smaller sizes as well but this is the biggest one and it contains 60 different pots so let's get out a couple of these pots to have a look so as you can see they're clear plastic and they have screw caps so hopefully once your drills are in and this is screwed on they're not going to go anywhere and it might be better to, to use something like this rather than the ones I usually use which have the flip top lids because sometimes they don't quite close properly and that can be a nightmare if your drills go everywhere. So I'm really happy to have one that's actually screwed and um, it seems a lot more durable. The screw mechanism works fine. It's not coming off when I pull it. Obviously I'll have to check every single one as I'm emptying my drills. But um, yeah, they all seem really good. I can't see any breakages. As I say, I'll have to check every single pot individually, but to be honest, with the packaging and everything else, this whole experience has been fantastic, so I really don't think I'm going to have any problems whatsoever. So these pots actually sit in um, another protective layer, which is a very dense foam, and that keeps them all in one place, and again, it protects them from getting shattered when you're moving it around. It's also got a little mesh bit here in the top where you can put your tools and even a little diamond painting if you have a really small one that you're working on when you're out and about totally up to you now what i will probably do 
because I don't think that you can remove these and they'll be sticky again, is I'll take the DMC number, use my little label maker and create labels for each one of these. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. I cannot fault anything that I've received from Huacan. Now, as for delivery times, obviously with it coming from China, you are looking at, you know, three weeks, a month, a month and a half, maybe, um, wherever you are in the world, really. So, you know, you can't really say anything about that fact. It's just, you know, it's going to happen. It's coming from really far away. It's coming on um, air mail. So you just have to put up with that, really. And obviously, with it being the Chinese Lunar New Year, um, this took a little bit longer, but I think it's still got here within a month of ordering. So I'm happy with that. Everything has been brilliant. When you order your custom, um, the seller gets back to you really, really quickly with a preview of what your diamond painting will look like when it's been put on the grid with the symbols. And then you can approve it, yes or no, make changes um, and yeah so if there's anything else you'd like to know please hit me up in the comment box with your questions um i'll be leaving links for everything here in the description box so if you want to order yourself a cheap good quality custom diamond painting and any of the tools that you've seen in the video as well head to the head to the description box and you'll find all the links there so hopefully fingers crossed it's all going to turn out well my friend helen who doesn't live too far away from me she also received a huacan diamond painting today it was a custom it was a picture of the beautiful jeffrey dean morgan as negan in the walking dead and at the moment because she only received it today she's a little bit wary about it because it's such a dark picture it's a black and white picture and it looks really dark on the canvas and i've said to her you know try doing the face first to see if it if it turns out well before you do the rest of it because it is a full drill so there's a lot of time going to be spent in, um spent on it and put into it um and that again as i say is from huacan but also a lot of diamond painting um artists have said on the groups that a lot of the time a canvas comes and you take you peel off the the front and it looks like it's not going to show any detail whatsoever and then it just magically comes to life as soon as you start adding the drills so i'm hoping that that's going to be the case for her but again when i do the next video and i finish my diamond painting i'll update you about that as well so that's it thank you so so much for watching as i've said any questions let me know and i will see you soon on color with claire